before you put up this poll, Gordon, and someone asked in the chat here, uh, Rose Runner asked, is it concerning that our 1500 meter team are not running any tune-up races before to Tokyo? And he's referring to the, to the US here when he says our team. We gotta be specific here because as you know, we are worldwide. Uh, why don't you tell me why you thought to put this poll up? Well, because we're coming up on the Olympics and there's no more diamond leagues. We're running out of race opportunities. And I was noticing there are certain Olympians, U.S. Olympians, who are choosing to not race, some that are choosing to race often, and some that are choosing to race only once. Um, and I wanted to know what people think is the actual best strategy. Um, and I honestly don't know because you look at the women's 800, right? You got Ajay and Raven. They're all doing one race. I guess technically Ajay did two. But then a thing Mo did zero is doing zero because I don't think she's running any race between now and the, and the Olympics. You look at the men's 1500, all three men, none of them, like you're the guy asking the question, none of them have run a race. Is that good? Is that bad? Are they going to be rusty? We don't know. What what is the right What is the right number of races you should do when you have a month to chill before the Olympic Games. So are you asking from a competitive standpoint or are you asking from a professional track standpoint? What's the difference? Money. Because I'm going to uh -oh. Monaco. If they're offering me a bunch of money to go to Monaco, I am a thousand percent running in Monaco. But maybe you'd have a different answer if your goal is just I want to be ready for Tokyo and I don't want to get on a plane and fly halfway across the world. And then, yeah. Cause back. the question That's, is Monaco giving you $4,000. Is that worth the round trip seven hour flights and then having to go to Tokyo? You know, it's like a lot, it's a lot of airtime. Well, it's like a right. It's like the right Benjamin question, which we really want to see him race Warholm. And then he, yeah. he says, well, he's got, he's got to prep for, for the Olympics, but in a perfect world, you'd see them race there. And then at the Olympics again, I get it from a thing Mo's perspective. She's raced a bunch. Jared Nagus, Cole Hawker, Collegians, they've raced a bunch. Even Centro hasn't raced a bunch, but he knows now how to get ready for these big meets. He's proven that. So you wouldn't be too worried about him. I think it's event by event here because we've seen we've seen Bromel race a couple times. You've seen – I mean the 100 team in general has run a bunch of times. From an interest perspective, I want to see them run again, but – they got to do all this travel. There's all these protocols they got to go through that it makes it a bit more complicated. I, so you're saying basically is – because we're looking at what, about a month, five weeks yeah. here? Is that too long to go without racing at this point in the season? That's a tough question, and I think it's individual. And the problem is now, especially because you know track isn't until the second week, so then you got to go another week before you ha have an. It's not like they're going to host. <laughs> London's not going to have a, a, a big di Diamond League meet like the first Saturday yeah. Olympics to get people tuned up. And these men and women are so good that they need other. They need big meets or big ish meets or legitimate competition to put out the type of performances that we expect to see. And you're just not going to be able to do that given all the constraints right now and w with the Olympics bearing down on us. Yeah, and I mean, because I just thought, and it's happening not just in certain uh, disciplines. Like you have Gabby Thomas who like scratches out of the two hundreds, and I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. should I? Should I have more? We did a whole debate on on Gabby versus the Jamaicans with Lincoln. Like, is that smart move for her to kind of sit on her back to back to back twenty one second two hundreds and just ride that wave into the Olympics, or is it better to? To, to suffer some losses. Like Shelly Ann Fraser Price is still out there running. She's losing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's okay to lose when you know that it's the only win you have to have is at the Olympic Games. I mean, Clayton Murphy has tweeted many times, the only races that matter are the trials and the Olympics. And he's yeah. been okay with taking a bunch of seventh place finishes in the Diamond League because he knows, hey, it's okay to get seventh now, whatever. I just need to be running. I need to be 143 peak after two prelims you know that's what he needs to well, do in order to medal. or look at look at bryce hopple like what did, did bryce hopple get a bunch out of those european races the, the person who won who, the big 800 meters star from the u.s overseas was isaiah harris 
who's not even yeah. on the team. The big mid-distance star for the U.S. in Europe was Kate Grace, who's not on the team. I think there's something to that. There's something to, hey, our season is – our big goal this season is is out the window. Let's just go and, and let it fly out here because – I don't here's here's my thing. If if we have this season set up, right, and it's built around Diamond Leagues, Continental Tours, that's that top tier, correct? Correct. If they run all those if 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 athletes are running those events, I can't really get upset about them not doing the lower tier events. Because you're running the meets that are at your level that are on the schedule. If you want to supplement them and run more. That's great, but you know there's a reason why, as I mentioned before, the di- you know we're done with the Diamond League until after the Olympics. It cut off. It's over, right? Because they know people aren't going to show up for whatever reason. But asking them to add on more stuff, I think, is just difficult logistically at this at this time of year. Um, I don't what know how the you question? feel about that. What was the YouTube question? Are you concerned about the fact that the 1500 team in the U.S. hasn't run? Since I am tries. not concerned. I do not lose sleep. The, the sleep is still good. Uh, with well, no, the, if the you were, energy. but if you had like a, if you had a interest in it, like you say you were there, you, you were their coach or you're their manager or whatever, just you, you had some sort of higher interest other than you just want to see a good Olympics. Like, would you be concerned with the fact that they haven't raced? I am not on the men's side, especially because I mentioned you got two collegians and then you got, and then you got Centro who even in a regular year, is not racing a ton. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, I'm not concerned because, like, you said the trust that they're, they're not, like, forgetting that there's track races. They're not, like, missing the bus to the track meet or, like, late with registering their entry time. <laughs> like, they're choosing consciously that I am not going to run a race between now and the Olympics. So, yeah. As long as yeah. they are okay with doing it and they're not being forced to not run. You know, the only thing you should be concerned about is if it's because of an injury, but there's no way we can know that or project it on anything. I mean, yeah, look at this. Centro, you didn't have a single race <laughs> between uh, – I mean, did he run an 800? Let's see if he ran an 800 in July. Scroll up. Okay, so he did a couple – 1K. He did a 1K. So. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah no 1500s. That's still a long break, though. In 2016, yeah. he, he went from it was July 10th all the way to the end of August, and he had the one the one in July 23rd. I thought we might see some more U.S. people at the because they had the Sunset Tour races. But I think what happened was the, the Diamond League ones jumped ahead of them almost, and because it's Monaco, you're going to get quality fields. So then yeah. a lot of the – some of the mid-distance people just went over there, and then that – lessened the amount of olympians who who were in the in these d- domestic fields but i don't know man it's hard like this year in particular it's more difficult but just think about all the questions we had going into the trials about people not racing a ton heading into the trials at least now we know who we know that they showed fitness at the end of june yeah 